Hi students, welcome back to 8th English class, unit 5 pros, being safe. For living safe, we want to follow certain rules. Here, in the lesson being safe, the lesson is divided into th three parts, section 1, section 2, section 3. Today we are going to learn section 1. Lesson name is be safe. Before going to lesson, two pictures are given. See that. First picture. What you can see there? Can you say? Uh, one player. Question is also given there. Which is safe place to cross? Can you say which is safe place to cross the road? Yes, zebra crossing. That boy is crossing the road in zebra crossing. It is right way. And next picture you see some youngsters sir, enjoying the bike ride without wearing helmets. And three members are sitting in the bike. Is it right? No, it is not safe and right. It is not safety rule. For living safe, we want to follow some rules. Shall we see that? Okay, students, section 1. Prasad lives with his parents in Trishnapalli. Here one boy, his name is Prasad. Where does he live? He lives with his parents in Tirichirapalli. Prasad lives with his parents in Tirichirapalli. What is the boy name? Prasan. Where does he live? He lives in Tirichirapalli. In summer, he always visits his grandparents in Nagadi, a river island in Tanchavu district. During the summer season, he always visit his grandparents. They were living in a village. Nagadi, it is a river island in Tanjavu district. Okay. Prasan parents lives in Tirichirapalli. But his grandparents lives in a village named Nagadi. It is a river island in Tanjavu district. Why it is called river island? Shall we see? The river water bifurcates into two and merges again and form this village. There is a river. It bifurcates. What is meant by bifurcate? Divide into two separate parts. One river is coming. It is divided into two parts and into two and merges again and form this village. Again it merges. Merges means mate. Join together. First it bifurcates, divided into two parts, then it is flowing some distance, then it is merging, then it is joining together and form this village. Okay, this village is surrounded by water. So, this village is called uh, River Island. So, the village is evergreen with mighty trees and beautiful landscapes. So, that village is mostly villages are very beautiful with greeneries here this village is uh, a river island so it is evergreen with mighty trees mighty means strong trees great trees and beautiful landscapes because of the greenery the landscapes are also very beautiful he always spend his vacation here what is mean by vacation vacation means holiday he always spend his holiday in this village, hanging out with his grandfather and his friends. Uh, he is enjoying the company of grandfather as well as uh, he has lot of friends in this village. Okay, children. His grandfather was a retired central government employee. What was his grandfather? His grandfather was a sen retired central government employee. Okay. What was his grandfather? You want to say his profession. Who is his grandfather? You want to say his name. His grandfather was a retired central government employee. 
so he has traveled to many parts of india so his grandfather traveled to many part of india his knowledge always amuses him his grandfather has lot of knowledge about different places it amuses him what is mean by amuses to make someone laugh or smile prashan has just come to his grandparents uh, just he reached uh, his grandparents house this news reaches his friends ah uh, the friends got the news what is the news uh, got for the friends yes prashant reached from tiruchirappalli this news reached his friends and they have to take him out for playing they plan to take prashant and go out for playing grandfather is very concerned ah uh, he is very concerned with prashan so he gave some advices he gives some instructions and tips for their safety so grandfather gave some instructions and tips for his safety so here one conversation is there with prashan friends and his grandpa Prashant has already mentioned he has lot of friends Sundar, Ravi, Peter, Jaffer, Mani. Okay, you can see Sundar. Good afternoon, Grandpa. Where is Prashant? Grandpa. Good afternoon, children. Ah, uh, Sundar asked Grandpa, where is Prashant? Grandpa also wished him back. Good afternoon, children. Ravi can we take him to play in the fields grandpa Ravi asked grandpa whether ah uh, they can took prashant out to play in the fields grandpa ah uh, they want to play in the fields so they ask permission to grandpa to take prashant with them grandpa of course children but you should be very careful while walking in the roads and crossing it for that grandpa told of course children of course means certainly surely kandipa anapi vekkire but you should be very careful while walking in the roads and crossing it but you have to take care of very careful while walking in the roads and crossing it while you are crossing the road you should be very careful as well as walking on the road also road also you should be careful for that peter answered peter yes grandpa our teacher has had taught us the ru- rules of the road safety we always follow them strictly peter told ah ama grandpa our teacher had taught as the rules of the road safety what had the teacher taught them the teacher had taught them the rules of the road safety safety rules a uh, teacher told them we always follow them strictly peter said ah uh, we always follow the road rules safety rules strictly grandpa good when you walk on the road which side of the road should you walk children can you say which side of the road we want to walk yes we should walk on our right hand side here grandpa asked when you walk on the road which side of the road should you walk jafar answered grandpa we should walk on our right hand side we should walk on our right hand side right hand side only we want to walk against the traffic so that we can see the vehicles coming ah right hand side if we walk we can see the vehicles coming so only ah road safety rules says we should walk on our right hand side in the road why it is said to be because we can see the vehicles coming okay children now uh, when do you walk on the road which side of the road should you choose should you walk ah uh, we should walk on our right hand side why it is said to be so because we are walking against the traffic so we can see the vehicles coming grandpa good i am sure you know how to cross the road grandpa said oh, okay okay children very good i am sure you know how to cross the road 
how to cross the road mani yes grandpa we should wait until the road is clear of traffic see wherever there is zebra crossing you should use zebra crossing to cross the in the zebra crossing only you want to cross the road sometimes there is no zebra crossing what you want to do yes grandpa we should wait until the road is clear of traffic hardly barely you should not cross the road patiently you wait there till the road clear of traffic you should <coughs> confirm there is no vehicles coming we should first look right first we want to look at the right side then left and then again right first you see right then left again you want to right before we cross the road okay children you are also want to follow this while walking on the road you should walk on your right hand side against the traffic and while crossing the road what do you want to do you should wait until the road is clear of traffic and we should first look right left and then again right before we cross the road okay you also want to follow this gandhi grandpa we will also walk in a line one behind the another and not in groups ah, another boy to gandhi told grandpa we will also walk in line na ah, don't crowd and walk on the road gumbala ninga road il nadakkave kudada epdi seyna Uh, this Gandhi is saying we will also walk in a line one behind the another. Ah, uh, make a line and we are moving uh, one behind the another and not in groups. Okay, my dear children, you should also follow while walking on the road. Don't crowd and walk. Don't go in groups. In a line, you go behind the other. Grandpa, good. I never use cell phone while walking on the road. Another safety also, Grandpa is instructing while we are walking on the road, we should not use cell phone. Yeah, why it is said to be? Because we can't hear the sound of the vehicles. We were absent-minded while using the um, cell phone. We will be absent-minded. So Grandpa told. you should not use cell phone while walking on the road road safety rules sir our safety why we we want to follow the rules because it is for our safety we should follow it strictly so we should follow the rules strictly okay children what are the rules we learned today first rule road safety which is the first rule when you walk on the road which side we want to go we should walk on our right hand side because we can see the vehicles coming then while crossing the road we should wait until the road is clear of traffic and we should first look right left and then again right and cross the road and another thing don't crowd or don't in group you walk on the road in a line on behind the other you want to go in the road and another thing you should not use cell phone while walking on the road so these are the safety rules or road rules for our safety for being safe we want to follow this thing we should follow it strictly some glossary is given by facets it is a verb what is the meaning divide into two separate parts amuses to make someone laugh or smile vacation holiday merges join together another state whether the following statements are true or false first one Prasan had gone to bring coffee to his friends. Is it true or false? False. Grandpa was so angry seeing Prasan's friends. Is it true? No, it is also false. Prasan's friends came on by walk. True. Teacher had taught about the rules of road safety. It is also true. 
okay children next class we can see section 2 okay thank you children